Hi, you guys. I'm so sorry. I did it again. I pushed publish before I was done. So, um, better than me doing number six for you, I actually want you to do number six on your own first. So push pause, try it, and then watch me do it and see if you did it correctly. Okay. Um, so number six. So remember, you're trying it on your own. Then you're gonna so pause, try it, push play, see if you got it correct. Okay, here we go. Number six, negative 15 divided by, in the parentheses, negative one third. Subtract, inside the parentheses, negative 1.56 plus three and four fifths. Whew, okay, here we go. Parentheses first, which means we are going to take care of this first. Inside this parenthesis, we have a decimal and we have a fraction. I'm going to change the fraction to a decimal. Um, if we take four, divide it by five, that's gonna give us 0.8, okay? So three and four fifths would be 3.8. And we have a negative 1.56. So when we combine these two, because they the signs of the two numbers are not the same, we're gonna subtract the two numbers. So 3.8, subtract 1.56, and in this case, our answer is going to end up being positive. It'll be a positive 2.24. That's what's inside our parentheses, okay? Then we have a subtraction. Let me clear off some of this other stuff here so I have some space. Then we have a negative 15 divided by a negative one-third. Okay, so before we can do this subtraction right here, we need to take care of doing this division. So when you do a negative 15 and you divide by a negative one-third, this is gonna get put over one, and then remember to divide fractions, you keep change flip, okay? So negative 15 over one, change the division to multiplication, flip, the second fraction. And now we multiply. A negative 15 times a negative 3 is a negative 45. And then we have a negative 45, subtract, sorry, a negative 15 times a negative 3 is a positive 45. I'm sure you guys caught that. And then a positive 45, subtract a 2.24. And I'm all out of room here, so I'm going to go ahead and Write this up here, 45 minus 2.24. Okay, so 45, we're gonna line up the decimals. To make 45 a decimal, we add the decimal after it. We're gonna add two zeros here. We can't take four from zero. We also can't borrow from a zero. So we're gonna go to the five. We're gonna borrow from the five. We're gonna make it a four. We'll make this a 10. We'll make this a nine. We'll make this a 10. 10 minus four is six. 9 minus 2 is 7, 4 minus 2 is 2, so 42.76, final answer. Okay, now at this point, okay, what I need you guys to do is you are going to finish the three problems that I didn't do on this side, and you are going to finish the two problems that I didn't do on this side, the order of operations with mixed rational numbers, then you are going to come check off your practice with me. Okay, I'm gonna check and see if you got it right, and um, I wanna make sure that you're proficient at this skill, and then you'll move on to your next assignment in the module.